What's up, y'all? This is my brother's dipper. Back with Backwoods Dipper 25 for more. That's right, Backwoods Dipper here. I dip in the backwoods, and John shits in the backwoods. Damn straight, son. And I got myself a ninja sword right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, only only pussy shoots weapons. I mean, come on now. This gen this generation, video games are going to rot your brains. But you got to... Hey, hey, you cannot say that this is not a badass piece of weaponry. Oh, right it's here. a badass piece of weaponry. I mean, I, I, I pussies use those, though. I, I, I'd be shit in my pants if someone came at me with this shit. I'd fight them. I'd take it from them and shove it up their ass sideways and see how they liked it. This looks like something the fucking Viet Cong used or some shit. Anyways, I'm spitting in the U.S. smokeless mud jug today. Got the lock and low mud jug right here. Dipping some Grizzly Winter Green Wide Cut. And I'm dipping me some Copenhagen Southern Blend. That pussy shit. Ah, I ain't pussy shit. That shit's good. Tastes like sweet tea. It's the taste of the South. Put the South back in your mouth. Yeah, I hear you there, my brother Dipper. You piece of shit. Anyway, so the other night, we, the two of us, we went and we hung out with Michigan Dipper. And... We had a pretty decent conversation with him. We were there about four hours and talked about life and everything in general and how video games rot your brains. And everybody says that he tries thumping the Bible into you. Well, he don't. Yeah, he had his Bible sitting on the table and, you know, he had showed it to us and he has different things scripted out in it and whatnot. But he's an overall good guy. He's just like any other average Joe on the street. Yeah, if you ever see him in the store or anywhere in public, don't be afraid to walk up and say hi to him. Rob is a cool guy. I mean, I'll show you what he all, what he, he all what he did for me. He signed my fucking ten of Copenhagen long cut. That shit is so cool. I just think, you know, I'm probably gonna keep this in my room for a long time. Just kind of cherish that moment because that's fucking cool, man. We'll probably have a video off out here with him soon. We talked about it. He said it'd be cool, we'll be dropping a video with him. Yeah, we'll and keep y'all updated on that. That'd be a crazy ass video probably. So y'all need to keep your eyes out for that coming out. Um just life in general, you know, living the life, working. You know how that goes. Dipping of course, dipping and spitting. That's the first thing I think about when I get out of work is throwing a big fatty in. Because after the day's over I just like, you know, I need a fatty. <laughs> Pretty much. Then did y'all see that new video that Outlaw Dipper and Redneck Soldiers did? That shit was pretty crazy. What do you think, Johnny Boy? I thought it was pretty cool. I wasn't sure if he was going to post it at first, though. Yeah, I know. I had to comment on that some bitch and ask him where the fuck it was because it was so goddamn late. But when it finally came out, it was totally worth it. I mean, I watched that music video and I was like, you know what? This is the shit right here. I can't believe that he actually got together with Redneck Soldiers and made a video. I mean, that shit's cool as hell. So anyway, a review on this wide cut. The cut of it reminds me of a Stoker's, and the taste is just like Grizzly Wintergreen, but a little bit balder. What about you? What about that Southern Blend shit that you're chewing on over there? Yeah, let me tell you something about this. It, it It's not really pussy. It's just... It's just a milder dip, you know? It's got a milder flavor to it, a milder buzz, but it, it's still good. I mean, it tastes like sweet tea, like I said, and it fits the name, Southern Blend, because sweet tea is a drink of the South. So, John, have you sniffed any dog's asses lately? Oh, yeah. I sniffed yeah. Poodle's ass yesterday. Oh. Saw that some bitch walking down the street and had to walk right up to him and say hello. That's how doggies say hello, you know? They sniff each other's assholes. What about Depends? Do you get any old lady Depends lately? Yeah, I buy my Depends at Walmart. Oh, do you? Yeah. But they come probably pretty shitty, don't they? Yeah, I, I love Depends. I can just sit in my room all day wearing Depends. I don't ever have to go to the bathroom, you know? Yeah. They're kind of nice. Maybe I ought to invest in some, eh? Yeah. Throw, throw a little bit of wintergreen in there so it, you know, it soaks up the smell a little bit. The doo-doo? Yeah. Yeah, so, well, I'll just get some shithorn and that'll soak up all the doo-doo I let in it, so. Well, you know, shithorn pretty much smells the same as doo-doo, so. But anyway, so, back to Rob, though. So we get there and 
you know, we text him, tell him we're there. He greets us at the door, and we walk in the back door, and old Johnny here, he's like, which way do we go? Do we go up or down? Rob looks around the corner. He goes, I'm up here. <laughs> and John, he was so nervous, he didn't know what the hell he was doing. I mean, y'all cannot imagine how much I was freaking out on the entire car ride there. I was driving, and I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, I'm in a Michigan Dipper. Ah, what the, what the fuck am I going to do? And then when we get there, little Johnny here throws in a fucking hammer that's way too big for him. Yeah. And you see him, he starts sweating, and then he goes running outside. Me and Robert are sitting there laughing, because we knew he was running out to puke his guts out. Yeah. That was, that was something else right there. It was a pretty good time that night. Met, uh, met a cool guy, got to sit down and kind of just bullshit with him for hours at a time. And at the end of the day... I learned that just because we're all we're all dippers and everything and some of us are more popular on YouTube but I mean it do, it doesn't really change who you are as a person. Nah. Just because you're behind a video camera doesn't mean shit. You're a normal person in real life. You work every day. You know you have your struggles and your everything like that. You overcome accomplishments. A big shout out to Rob for sort of, sort of blah, 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 being sober for like six weeks now. Yeah, that so, that's a really good accomplishment right there. I mean, from what the what it sounded like was that he he wasn't really down with himself at the moment. It seemed like, you know, like he said, he was having a few beers on his videos, but after the camera went out he was drinking a whole 30 pack to himself so he basically told us and then when he said he had his come to with god he said the next day he said he dumped everything he had and he hasn't had a drop since so big shout out to you michigan dipper yeah shout out for staying sober uh so anyway like i said we're gonna have that video of michigan dipper sometime here hopefully within the next month or so we'll have a video with him to drop out and It'll be some pretty fun shit. Yeah. Going to Colorado this summer. Cannot wait for that shit. Going to drive out there. I hear that there's a Cabela's in Nebraska. It's either a Cabela's or a Bass Pro Shops. But I can't wait to just stop there and bullshit. You know, just look through all the lures and everything. And hopefully uh, my brother Jipper will have his camera with him and get a short video while he's in there or some shit. Yeah. That, that, that'd be pretty interesting, I, I think, just to shoot a video and a Cabela's. <laughs> just carry your mud jug in with you. They ask you what it is, tell us none of their business. Yeah. Or just show them, you know, mud jug. Mud jug. Portable spittoon. That's what it is right there, portable spittoon. You just tell them sons of bitches, it's either I carry this in with me, or I spit on your floor. Or I carry a spit mud with me, and then watch it spill all over the floor. Fuck spit blood. Fucking ice shit and spit buds. You drink spit buds. What are you talking about? Drink spit buds? Yeah, you drink them. I watched you. That spit bud you had before I got you hooked on these mud jugs. I never had a spit bud in my oh, life. Oh, don't you bullshit me. I know I seen you with one. It's That's mud jug. It's mud jug all the way. Mud jug all the way. So you can turn these son of bitch upside down and they don't spill or none. You can, you can do this all day. Yeah. See that shit? It's got weight in the bottom. Are Get you yourself. On, are you on fire? Am I on fire? Yeah, I, I, I smell a burn. Is that you? Oh, it might just be my asshole. I ate some Taco Bell earlier. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, my asshole's on fire pretty much. The only thing on fire right now. 24 oh. hours a day. Fucking bleeding out my ass. That's why you like sniffing other people's asses. So you can see what they smell like. Yeah. Blue tick with a pedigree. I mean, you could, our cameraman here, Jimmy, he can tell you. John sniffed his ass a couple of times. Oh, yeah. Came right up, said a friendly hello. That's a big shout out to our cameraman, Jimmy. That's how we do it in the ASA CP. So. He might be our new cameraman permanently. We haven't decided yet. He's a good cameraman, though. We got, we got to see how this video turns out. Then 
yeah. holding our camera for he, us. He, he's got a good angle going right there. You can see a smirk on his face. He's all like, yeah, this is this is gold right here. I'm the best fucking cameraman oh, out yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so, John, have you got your truck stuck lately? Oh, I almost got it stuck yesterday. Oh, interesting. Yeah, his, his old man was going to tap me on the head for it, too. <laughs> so, uh, my little, my little Pontiac I have, I... Don't tear up my yard. I, uh, stuck that Pontiac in a sand pit one time, and Johnny was there with me, and... He was laughing at me and thought I made him push me out, and then he wasn't laughing no more. Yeah, that 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 was a that was an interesting day. I, I saw that coming. There was a lot. There was this big mud pit right there, and he pretty much went into it just a bunch of just loose sand, wet, thick shit. Oh and yeah. He got stuck in there. Had to push him out. What about that day we were at that park and I uh, coated my car in mud? Oh, yeah. Couldn't even see out the goddamn windows. I had her so covered in mud. Yeah. I treat my car like it's a fucking 4x4. Four four. I'll take it anywhere off-roading. That was before I got my truck. We used to, well, we were, just, we were just stupid. We just went out and bullshitted in our cars and pretty much tore up the Auburn Park. But, but yeah. that's not us. We didn't, that was never us. We never did that, though. Yeah, we, we I don't were, know what he's talking we were, about. We were, I've never been to we the Auburn Park. We were, we were never really there. Yeah, we were, we were never there. Yeah. But, yeah, you can think we were, but we never really were. It's all part of your imagination. You're in the imagination land. So, John, is it about time you go and change your depends? Yeah, it's about time I go do that right now. I got a big load filling up in there. I think there's a dog around here somewhere, too. You can go and sniff its ass while you're changing your depends. But, yeah. Okay. Pretty much. But, so, yeah, y'all. I guess we'll see y'all on the flip side, and remember, get yourself a mud jug, portable Hell spittoons, yeah. check out redneckNation.com. They got a bunch of cool gear and a bunch of shit on there that you'll want to get your hillbilly hands on, you know? Hell yeah. Mud jug. Mud the only jug. way to go. Fuck, Fuck spit, spit bud. bud. Said I in unison. Yeah, see you later.